Today's question is a good one. So I have a few clients that do not go back to any scenes or any memories. Um, I've used my hypnosis and even NLP techniques on them to get them to remember memories. Can I start with having them regress to happy memories or happy scenes before I get them to regress to the more unpleasant uh, unpleasant memories? Good question. <laughs> Very good question. And, you know, when I was initially trained in uh, the more traditional hypnosis modality, uh, it was suggested to us that we start with happy memories, just so uh, your clients do um, kind of get the hang of it, right? They get warmed up, they can follow through a process, they feel more comfortable, they feel more at ease and safe with you. Um, and they kind of, like I said, like they're more warmed up at that point uh, so that when you do ask them to go to the memories that link to their problem, then um, it's easier for them because they've already had experience with happy memories. And also it changes uh, their their energy and their emotion a little bit by going to happy memories. Um, so you could definitely do that. There is nothing wrong with that. So if you want to do that, sure. Um, the only thing that I would encourage you to think about, and I'm actually going to challenge you to think about this, is that, you know, say, for example, you regress um, them to three happy memories, right? And for example, it takes you around five to 10 minutes each scene. Um, you know, let's just say that's around 15 minutes to half an hour already of your time and your client's time in that session. Going back to happy memories that may or may not relate to the actual problem that they came to you with. Uh, so that is just a caveat of it. It's the time, right? Um, is that a good um, is that a good way for you to use up your time um, doing that? Um, and have you found that for your clients that helps? Have you tried it out? Uh, have your colleagues tried it out? Um, is that something that will actually uh, stick with your clients? Because some clients are just not very comfortable going back to any memories or even um, or even happy memories, right? Because truth of the matter is the thing with memories is that, yes, we all have them. Um, but at, at, as a client, a client can uh, either make it up, right? Like they can make it up. Who knows if they're just making things up? Uh, they can think of scenes ahead of time if they know that they're that's what they're doing. I've actually heard of people doing that. I'm just not making this up. Um, I actually heard have heard of clients because they know that their coach or their hypnotist is going to take them back to memories. They think of memories ahead of time to um to to give to that person and you know like that's not good right that's not good because if you're to make things up you're not really trying to solve the problem right you're you're preparing for something that is that is artificial that it might not even relate at all to the problem that they're dealing with um, because they're just so scared that they won't see the scenes, right? Like there's performance anxiety at a coach level and the hypnotist level for us, but also there probably is some sort of performance anxiety as the client. I, and I mean, I don't like to admit this, but, you know, I've had sessions in the past with, you know, previous uh, hypnotists and uh, coaches who use hypnosis and they bring me back to memories and I have made up memories because nothing comes up. Um, and that's not really good for me and my transformation, right? It's not good for you as a coach because how are you going to learn? So that's the biggest caveat to forcing scenes um, that you really want to think about. And, um, and so, you know, what would I advise uh, with regards to if you do have clients who don't regress to memories, well, how about you just start with a conversation, right? How about you just start with a conversation with regards to the problem that they're having? Because by investigating your client's problem and by talking about the problem, you'll start to make that problem more malleable by asking them questions about it. And by you asking them questions, they become more internal, which is what hypnosis is, right? Hypnosis is um, is getting your clients to have their attention internally to themselves so that they can find their own answers. That's what hypnosis is principally, right? 
And so when you're able to just ask them questions and they really get to think about the questions um, that you are asking them, then um, then that will really help them uh, warm up, let's say, warm up to you, uh, warm up to talking about the problem, warm up to exploring the problem. And um, by that time, as you investigate, you're more, if you're really, really good at asking the right questions for your clients and taking their responses and basing your question based on their responses, if you really get good at that, uh, then you may not even need to use techniques such as regressions or visualizations because just by investigating your client's problem, then um, that helps to also you know, find the connections, find the associations that they have made unconsciously with regards to that problem. And by doing that, you're going to help your clients uh, solve their problem anyway. And so sometimes you won't even need to go to those happy scenes, right? Uh, because like I said, it can take you 15 to half an hour of just having them go to the memories and visualizing happy memories. But is that really, if you look at, look at it objectively, is that really helping your clients to get a breakthrough or is it just visualization? Because 15 minutes to half an hour of actually investigating your client's problem, especially when you really get good at that hypnotic interview is what is going to really help your client speed up that breakthrough. So instead of going to happy memories, why not redirect that time that you're going to take anyway to go to those happy memories and instead investigate their problem because it's going to help your clients better and it's going to help you as a coach to get better at your skills um, and get better at your hypnosis skills instead of just taking the easy way out and using happy memories, right? So just that's the, that's the thought, that is the suggestion, uh, because this is really the principle um, of conversational hypnosis, right? We don't force a client to go to scenes unless it comes up spontaneously, because that increases resistance. Forcing someone to go to scenes increases resistance. And as the hypnotist and as, as the coach, we don't really know if our clients are making it up which is very unfortunate, but it happens. It definitely happens. That's the reality. So if you have any questions, thoughts, comments, uh, let me know. And otherwise, I will see you soon.